Cool. I, I didn't hear you at all. So that's what I'm saying. Just get visual confirmation, okay? Uh, this is on page 63. So what we're working on... I know, I know, but I'm just saying, let me like shake my head or something, you know. So what we're trying to work on is going from y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which this equation is in. This is what we call standard form. And we're going to try to go all the way over to what we call vertex form. So vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So there's a special way that we learn how to go from standard to vertex form. And again, we are, you know, I talked about this. Why do we even want to go to vertex form? Well, because to find the vertex of this, it's kind of sometimes it gets a little bit, you know, crazy. You have to do opposite of b divided by 2a. Then you plug that back into the formula. Where here, your vertex is just h comma k. All right, so how are we going to do this? Well, you guys remember solving by completing the square, right? Remember doing the solving, completing the square? Guess what? We're going to do the exact same steps, except rather than saying x equals something, it's going to be y equals our values. So let's just go through the same steps. First step, isolate your variables. We still need to isolate the x's, so we subtract the 2 onto the other side. But rather than there being a 0 there, now it's just going to be y minus 2 equals x squared plus 6x. That's step number 1. Does everybody see how I isolated my x variables? Just get out to the other side. Now, step 2. That's step 1. Step 2 is to take b, divide by 2, and square it. So 6 divided by 2 squared equals 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So therefore, I'm going to make sure that I add 9 to both sides. Therefore, now I have y equals, I'm sorry, y plus 7 equals x squared plus 6x plus 9. Got it? Now, since what we did is by doing the b divided by 2 squared, what we did is we created a perfect square trinomial. And what's so important, Isabelina, about creating a perfect square trinomial is you can factor it to a binomial squared. If you forget that, Katie, what you can do is just factor this on your own. But you guys will factor this. And what you're going to get is y plus 7 equals x plus 3 squared which we call step number three. Now, if you don't remember how do you factor this, you can always just write it as x plus b divided by 2 squared. That's where I got that. I also got it from factoring, which is you know our practice on factoring, which I know a lot of you have trouble with. Now, to finalize our answer, we just got to get the y by itself. So you subtract 7. Therefore, I get y equals x plus 3 squared minus 7. Can I now tell what the vertex is? Yeah. And the vertex is? 3, negative 7. Make sure you do the opposite. Right. Opposite of h over k. So it's oh, okay. negative 3, negative 7. And that's it. That's all you guys got to do. OK? That's it.